Okay, so we are going to be talking about this story that might sound familiar to some people. There was this auto shop owner who jumped 500 pounds of, do you want to guess what it is? 500 pounds of something. Do you want to guess? Oil? No, he had dumped, oh, close actually. He had dumped 500 pounds of of oily <laughs> pennies on an ex-employee's driveway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and now he has also been ordered, this guy has been ordered to pay additional back, uh, back really? wages. What is with these people not paying their employees <laughs> thinking about it? We already went through a story where someone didn't pay their, their employees. Thinking, oh, the Takaria? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, just to get some of these notes out of the way. So, yeah, this guy know. called... Miles Walker mm-hmm. from Georgia has a business there, an auto shop okay. called an OK Walker. <laughs> I know. Okay. It was, I, th- I thought it was pretty funny. But yes, this guy dumped 500 pounds of pennies onto an ex-employee's driveway. He did not He did not pay his employees. He w- This guy was very disgruntled, by the way. <laughs> he didn't he, pay them at all? He didn't pay for overtime work. He didn't pay oh, for... Yeah, it again, seems like yeah. they didn't pay at all. Man. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. the thing is, too, this was 91,000 pennies, I guess. This is what it, this is what I'm reading. And then he's also been ordered to pay an additional... Was it $9,000? I I actually no, it might be more. It's way more. Wait, no, nine, no, no. ninety-one thousand. Ninety-one, ninety-one thousand pennies oh, is what he does. No, 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 because it was five hundred pounds of pennies. Five. Oh yeah, you're oh you're doing the math conversion. Okay, but yeah, yeah, move yeah. the decimal over two. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Okay, so yes, he's also been ordered to pay an additional twenty k in back in uh back hmm. wages, which, which is a lot of money. Nine hundred. And then he's also ordered to pay another Jesus. 20k in damages jeez so he's ordered to pay an additional forty thousand dollars that's wild considering um i don't think georgia's minimum wage i don't think they're gonna be paid minimum wage but like i don't know that's a lot of money it is a lot of money so it's a lot of back pay so let me let me get to these notes too last year the depart the u.s department of labor filed a lawsuit against walker for violating fe- federal labor law after, <laughs> yes i want to work for this guy <laughs> after he retaliated against a former employee who contacted the agency when he didn't receive his final paycheck which was like i mean fair one. he eventually paid the ex-employee um i'm, I'm not gonna say the name but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah yeah it was like it was 90 90 000 pennies that, <laughs> that it was so fair this guy had quit his job at um, at this auto auto shop after an argument with his boss, and then he this guy contacted the labor department in January 2021 mm-hmm. to say he was owed nine hundred and fifteen dollars. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, so the next day, Walker received a call from the department and said he would not pay. Hours later, he decided to pay him pennies. <laughs> so this guy, Jeez. this guy's. This guy's a character. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, because you can't even put the pennies into a um, the machine thing. The crazy thing is that like it's definitely more of a pe- like. How where did he get all these pennies? You know, it's it's insane. Like you'd have to go to the the bank and then be like, "Give me all all your pennies, all of the pennies." All Give the me pen- them, and then he has to unroll them into. Wasn't there a coin shortage not too long ago? There was, yeah, yeah. There was a coin shortage. The thing and is, this was in 2021. Yeah, I, I just don't know because, like, it it's just so wild. Because, like, the like it's like, oh wow, he he gave all these coins. Where is he getting all these pennies? That's true. Where I don't know. Where I is no he idea. getting I them? I have no idea where he got. You can't just go pennies. to the bank like, hey, can I get like 900 dollars in pennies? And like, do you want a wheelbarrow for them? Like, no, like, just loose pennies, loose pennies. Oh I, my god! Like, I want them loose because I'm gonna douse them in oil. Oh, that's even worse. Because, <laughs> like, like imagine, like, he has the... Cause you, okay, so you guys know. I don't know if you know. But, like, when you get a, like... A roll uh, of pennies. Yeah, a roll of pennies. Like, if you have, yeah. like, a, a, a till or a, a cashier register, they come in all in rolls and all this stuff, and you crack it open and put it... I'm like, 
you get that from the bank. If you went to the bank and like, hey, can I need I need pennies. You get a roll of pennies. You do. He spends so much time like there's how, so much more effort. To how do upset all of this. is this guy to like not just like, hey, just write the damn check and then like give him the check and then be done with it. And he's like, no, I want I need to make sure he learns a lesson. I'm gonna go. I'm so mad that I'm gonna go buy or not buy, but like get nine hundred dollars worth of pennies, crack them all open, douse them in oil, bring them to his house, and dump them there. And I'm like, sir, that is it's insane. That's it. That's so excessive. Just, just let it go, man. You, you know what's even crazier about this? This is not the reason why I said it earlier that it's like something familiar. Is because this is not the first time someone has done something like this. Oh yeah, there's been others. Like it, copycat it, 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 killers. Yeah, yes. Before copycat there, pennies. Like, there's been stories about people paying their employees in pennies because it's technically not illegal. No, you're, I mean, uh, I mean, it's a pain in the butt, but like, that's that's it's, legal money. That it is legal money. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Jokes on mm. you. You still paid me. But I did want to say. I would not work for this guy. <laughs> How would you know? You wouldn't I, know. I, you, I literally named him. Oh, oh, oh I, I mean, like named. beforehand, if you didn't know, yeah, oh, like, did, would you yeah, know? If, if I didn't know, yeah. Nobody so. knows really if you like are working for a bad person until you get the job, and then you're like, oh, just kidding. Um, it's actually bad here. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy because like you wouldn't like you wouldn't have. Ex- I, I feel that you wouldn't expect like a rational human being to mm. to go out and do this. I don't know. <laughs> like it's kind of you know kind of funny it, it, it's a little <laughs> funny but at the same time you don't but in a be tragic the, way you don't want to pain a, you don't want to be on the receiving end of oh, getting all those no. pennies yeah because you can't even put in the coin star machines they he oiled them up i think i'm pretty yeah, sure you can't you, put them in there like that yeah so i don't know and this they take a cut this guy's a menace if i if, <laughs> if, I, if I was you guys if i was in georgia <laughs> i would stay clear of, um, of this guy's auto shop Maybe. I mean, it seems like he, you know. Oh, yeah. He got a lot of fines. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's that's crazy. a good question. If he's still around. Uh, but like. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, this story came out like yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. The story came out yesterday from when we were filming this. So, oh, okay. yeah. So this is recent. This is breaking news that uh, it's on this Dallas week. pennies and In oil. Yeah. I mean, this is okay. This is for the real ones who stayed. Make sure you Did like you, and subscribe. <laughs> like, make sure you like it. Well, if you stayed this long, you definitely probably are subscribed. If not, please subscribe. There's this couple who found like, um, like thousands of dollars worth of pennies in their um their garage or something. Was remember that? Was it? No, no. And then they sold. They actually sold it. They oh, really? Sold the pennies for twenty thousand. It's like I think it was like eight thousand. But they're like all vintage pennies. So they like the the lure of these pennies is that. There could be a two million dollar penny. Yes, that's what I was about yes. to say. There's a vintage coins that go for a lot of money. Yes, the vintage coins go for a lot of money, and like they didn't want to look. They started looking for this vintage coin, but they gave up, and they're like, "Okay, well, let's sell this like ten thousand dollar thing of pennies for twenty thousand dollars worth the pen, or for twenty thousand. And then it's like, mm, I don't know, you know, maybe it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I think that it's. I, I honestly, if you were a collector, I would. It's worth the risks of worth. buying those those pennies because you could have you could. You're buying argu- the pennies are ar- two ar- pennies for for ar- one penny. Arguably, there's probably some pennies in there that are worth probably like ten pennies or even oh, two pennies. Yeah. yeah, so there could be more. Well, if, yeah, if it's You're, a uh, Indian head penny, you just need a couple of pennies that are worth more than one penny. That's true, and then you you just give the other pennies back because they're regular pennies. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) But yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, those are all the crazy. I mean, like, there's other ones where like people find like I don't think I don't. I also don't think these oily pennies were. (laughs) were, I mean, it's pennies plus oil. Like, come on, I don't think they were any vintage pennies. I wonder if you this lit the pennies on fire what would that, that's insane would that get rid of the oil that oh, you get maybe yeah, maybe but, but would it melt the pennies you just go there just start like i yeah. got these pennies like they're sir they're burnt what the heck are these my like? whole thing my whole thing on all of this mm-hmm. is that these people are not paying their freaking employees for i mean like overtime's a, a touchy subject honestly yeah because yeah. it's yeah. like if you think about it like it's extra money man time and a half 
it would be kind of tough if you're a small business, you know? Yeah. That's... So, I mean, I don't know. It, it's a tough thing, but like they definitely should be paying them. Like if yeah. anything, like I would rather have the customer wait a, like an extra day, like let's wait a little bit longer to get their stuff. So the employee could like leave on time. Yeah. And then they could come in the next day, finish it during work hours. Yeah. Return the car. <sighs> that is fine. Great. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Like, why? Like, would you rather? I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, I honestly leave leave at your schedule, like what you said. Leave at the scheduled time. Yeah. Come back next day. That's fine. No big deal. But yeah, I until we own a company, and then and then we we work each and other. We're like, <laughs> Josh, and I, all that I, overtime. I, I work like <laughs> seventy hours a day. Uh, I'm at like you know quite oh. a few. Oh, probably okay. like. I like 12, 12 hours a day, I would say. No, oh my God. No more. No, probably like 14. If you consider drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like 14, 15 hours a day. Yeah. Kind of a lot. Kind of a lot, yeah. Anyways, that's enough of us. Yes. Moving it. on.